I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Big Sky Country Book 2, Chapter 16. And the winner is... That's right, folks. We've got ourselves a winner for the mayoral election. Whatever happens, it's been one hell of a ride. Shh. The crowd's close around the radio waiting for the waited bated breath. And the next mayor, Sweet Ridge, is Asia Ronors. I... I won? Why are you surprised? You won. You should kiss Aisha, hug her. Grab your arms around her and pull her into a tight hug. Before you know it, all your friends have joined in. Group hug! Oh, thanks, everyone! In the final tally in, Aisha Roanhorse has won the election in a historic landslide victory. Never before in the history of our town have we seen one candidate gain so much support in the last few hours. Did you hear that, Aisha? You won my landslide. Not just a landslide. A historic landslide. All your hard work has paid off. And then some. I'm so proud of you, Aisha. The door of the store swings open and a small, excited crowd of townsfolk squeezes in. Where's our new mayor? I want to give her a big ol' hug. Congratulations, Aisha. You deserve it. Smile my as Aisha swamped by her admirers. Thank you, thank you all so much. Party at my place. Well, thanks for the offer, Colt, but I don't think the rusty gate will be enough for the big enough for the victory party I got in mind. The next day before the victory party, you and Duke head towards the house after finishing your chores. Thanks for staying home to help me out today, John. I know setting up that party with the others would have been more fun. Ah, no problem. You're plenty of fun, Duke. It wasn't exactly my idea. We're in partners one day, after all. Dad smile crosses Duke's face. That's true. But, uh, still, thanks for stepping up. It's been a hard running the farm past few months with Dad's health scare, Sawyer's leg, plus all the excitement going on in town. Most nights, I just, uh, I feel like I've been burning the candle on both ends. You and me both, my friend. I'm so sorry, uh, so much of the work here has fallen to you. But with the election over and the TV show behind us, you'll have a lot more help again soon. Hell, you can even take some time off. Oh, that, that doll might have crossed my mind. I know uh, Brooklyn wants to visit her mom in New York over the holiday break. Hey, you two. Get a move on. We got a BBQ to set up. Oh, come on. Come on, Glyph. Let's give us a minute to clean up. I'll give you 15, but after that, you're walking. Yes, sir. You emerge from the world's shortest shower, feeling refreshed and ready to spend the evening celebrating with the town. Now I just have to decide what to wear. What do you think, Wilbur? And I uh, go with this one. Hold an outfit to the little pig who grunts enthusiastically. <coughs> ah, good choice, but you've got excellent taste. I'll just have to try it on. I like the pants. They're black. What? No, look at me like that. Perfect. You come downstairs to find Cliff and Duke waiting for you. Well, look at mighty slick, John. You sure did a better job of cleaning up than I did. Oh, thank y'all. I look like Elvis almost. Let's get this show on the road. Cliff, I didn't realize you were such a party animal. Oh, then you don't know Dad very well. I'm nothing better than a town barbecue. But, uh, you'll take it easy, right, Dan? Of course I will. One whiskey, one dance with my daughter, uh, granddaughter, and then a whole lot of sitting. Scouts on her. Good. Let's get going. <coughs> Wilbur scrambles across the floor as he makes a beeline for your ankles. Someone doesn't want to be left behind. I don't think you want to go see your ancestors be cooked alive, Wilbur. Come over near your arms and start giving his round pink tummy a tickle. Uh, is that right, boy? You want to come to the party with us? Mm. Hey, I better hold, keep a hold of him, or uh, someone will think he's on the menu. Mm. Oh, that's not funny, dude. Give Wilbur a reassuring head scratch. Don't worry, little guy. I won't let anything happen to you. He's barbecue. <laughs> Wilbur Titan followed the Oakleys outside. 
eat someone's bacon on their lettuce and tomato. <laughs> Curly and Bentley wait for you on the porch. Curly's arm rests comfortably around Bentley's waist. Well, don't you two look cute? Curly and Bentley beam. Ah, uh, thanks for letting us ride with you and letting me stay on the ranch after everything Small Town USA put Brooklyn through. It's very kind. Don't mention it. Yeah, we sure as hell know what it feels like to get screwed by the big guy. That's enough gushing. Let's get this party before we, uh, this they start it without us. You arrive at the town hall to find it completely transformed for the BBQ party. You know what's nice? I'm gonna chime in real quick. Uh, you know what's nice about the South? Is they actually kind of do stick together and they do help one another out. It's something that out East, up here in the North, they just don't do. We just don't give a shit about one another and I feel like it's just time for me to literally move. Yeah. Yeah. John over here! You make your way to the corner of the hall where Brooklyn and Leonardo are putting up the finishing touches. I think we, uh, need more daisies to offset the color scheme. Whatever you say, but I think it already looks perfect. Leo gives you a nod as he heads off. Brooklyn gestures to an embellished hall. So, what do you think? I think the place looks pictogram perfect. Now that's a compliment. Oh, so where's the woman of the hour? Spend a lot, little face time with the people. Brooklyn points to the middle of the hall where Aisha is surrounded by the townsfolk. The people have been coming up to shake her hand all day. Eh, well, I'd better go rescue her then. Make your way across the hall and join the throng around Aisha. She meets her eye through the crown and grins. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Especially in that outfit, you look amazing. Well, thank you, uh, Miss Mayor. Make sure it tickles Wilbur under his little chin. And I see you brought my little favorite constitute to be. <laughs> he refuses to be left out. He was very invested in this election. Oh, you know what? Aisha, you and I need to have coffee later. I have all kinds of ideas for revitalizing the downtown area. Sure thing, Judy. Anyway, John, I... Excuse me, I got a cigar ready for and waiting for you, Miss uh, Mayor. Thanks, Cole. Now, John, I... Aisha, I think I left something in my office. I mean, your office. I mean, the mayor's office. Grand as Aisha keeps fending off her constituents, finally she turns to you with a laugh. I... I completely forgot I wanted what I wanted to say. Oh, has it been like that since the election? Oh, yeah. People have been coming up to by the store just to say congratulations. It's been kind of overwhelming. Eh. Are you holding up okay? Better than okay, I still don't feel great about the public speaking, but one-on-one -on -one conversations are right up my alley. People are telling me already their concerns and dreams for the town. It's exactly what I hope for. I'm glad you're having such a positive experience. So am I. I'll be honest, I was a little nervous about today. Aisha, come on, talk to somebody's mind. Uh, how about I find you after the adoring public is finished with you? Sounds good. You go have fun for both of us. You wave goodbye to Asia before heading back across the party. John, over here. What are your late? You look real good. I'm uh, taking the compliment and ignoring the rest. You uh, look around the crowded hall. I can't believe how packed this place is already. Half the Sweet Ridge must be here. Sweet Ridge isn't the kind of place where that lets politics ruin a good barbecue. I'm gonna check on the barbecue pit. Join me later. If I can find you in the crowd. The rest of the party passes by in a blur. You find Joe and Curly out on the dance floor, trying to teach Bentley how to two-step. So it's two steps slow, three steps fast? Close enough. What? No, it's not. He'll bump in everyone if he tries to do that. No offense, Bentley. Oh, believe me, none taken. Come on, Joe. Let's show him how it's done. Like you now. Later you catch Anna Marie trying to organize more games outside. Anna Marie. Oh, she looked like the one from the royal hair. Now, let's form two teams. Not it! But we're not playing tag. 
Ah, oh, Percy, stop. I told you to wash the soccer ball, not me. Sorry, I didn't anticipate the level of water pressure. A likely story. What on earth has gotten into you two? You're so friendly. Ah, some sense got into us. Jules and I realized we worked better together than apart. We've uh, decided to share the responsibility of running the ranch. We're going to make it the most successful ranch in all of Montana. And Marie gives a hoot of joy and wraps both of her kids in a fierce hug. This is all I've ever wanted for you two. Oh, then you should have been hugging John. He's the one who made it happen. Oh, thank you, but do not hug me, please, for the love of Christ. Anna Marie beams at you, clapping an excited hand on your shoulder. Thank you, John. And then, even later still, you find the Oakley men laying out a fresh BBQ on their food tables. I think, uh, you let that steak burn, Sawyer. Ah, get out of here, it's seared. It's seared, all right, seared straight to hell. Ha 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 ha. Then you ask for well done, you're getting well done. Back me up, John. Oh no, I'm not getting in the middle of this one. Do I smell burnt meat? Oh. I'm serious. Down in the south, they like their meat a little raw. That's fine. It looks like the vampires. Blair catches your eye away. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Ah, uh, maybe you're better off just dropping that train, leaving the scene of the crime. Now you tell me. The party is in full swing when Jasper Tate. Oh, god damn it. Aisha John. Hey, Tate. What do you want? Trust me, I'm not here because I want to be. Tradition dictates that I can see it in person. Jasper sighs and shakes his head, his expression softening. Sorry, y'all. I'm still not used to being this humble thing. I saw I sunk tens of thousands of dollars in the campaign. I hired experts, played almost every dirty trick in the book, and most of the town still voted for you. I'm no money, no nothing from nowhere. That's that's one hell of a concession speech there, Jasper. You are classy. Watch it, Tate. Oh no, I don't mean it as an insult. You ran us with nothing but grass roots and elbow grease. Reminds me of me back when I was first starting a business with nothing but a dream and a modest trust fund. Uh, thank you? Modest trust fund. Sounds like Trump with a million dollars. My daddy gave me a million. You're welcome. I tip my hat to you, Miss Mayor. He holds out his hand and flashes Aisha a charming, rapid smile. I trust we can let bygones be bygones now that the campaign's done and dusted. Mm. Mm. should let him have it. just squares the shoulders, ignoring his offered hand. You were a damn dirty opponent, Jasper Tate. You stole my ideas, you undermined me, you humiliated me, and you still lost. You showed your true character in that race, and I'm not forgetting or forgiving that anytime soon. You'll regret this, little lady. I really don't think I will. Aisha slides her arm through yours, and together you turn your backs on him and walk away. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. I got some gin, some rum, some tequila, or, uh, no, I didn't do vodka. What was the other one? Oh, Irish whiskey. Your wish is my command. The sun sets over Sweet Ridge. But the party shows no sign of slowing. You take a breather, looking around the hall. Curly and Joe lead the pack dance floor as Miles and Brooklyn play DJ. Sawyer grins at you from the dance floor. Over by the bar, Cliff and Calhoun regale townsfolk with the stories of past mayors. Laughing, Dallas catches your eye and raises his glass. In the corner, Juliet and a bunch of townies are playing an intense game of poker. Julia looks up at Jude and gives a cheeky wink. At the door, Aisha's been caught by an enthusiastic Judy. Aisha looks up to you and smiling ruefully. After all the craziness in the last few months, we finally have a moment of peace and quiet. And I know exactly who I want to share with. Oh, it's not a diamond choice. Okay. Spend time with Sawyer, spend time with Juliet, spend time with Ooh, Juliet. Why not? She is kind of the girl in this in this game, I finally decided. Wave Juliet over, she throws her hand of cards with a grin, and saunters over to you, join you, you take her hand. Wanna come outside with me? Oh, 
only always. You lead Juliet out on the main street. It's quiet now with most of the town inside. So what are we doing out here? Well, I was thinking of putting my lips against your soft, lush, sweet... I'm sorry, but... Oh, I should be a writer for Pixel, but I know, but, you know, spending some quality time together. With everything that's been going on, I feel like I barely had any time alone with you. So, Juliet, we shouldn't let that happen again. I know we're both going to be uh, busy on the ranches, but... No, I agree. We should make more time for each other. Good. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. Oh, hush you. I've been thinking. We should quit fooling around and make this thing official between us. Us official? Aren't we already? I don't know about you, but I love you is uh, pretty official in my book. Mine too. I just want to make sure you're sure. I'm sure. Juliet slides her arms around your waist and stands on her tiptoes, brushing her lips against your softly first, but the desire starts to build inside you. Juliet. Girl, you know it. Oh, we're going back to the ranch. Oh, well, oh my. Back of the ranch house. Push Juliet against the door of the ranch, kissing her hungrily as you try to fit your key in the lock. Juliet laughs breathlessly in your ear. You want to take a break so you can open the door? I want to take a break and kiss you more. Billy laughs as you blaze a trail of open mouth kisses along her shoulder. That's not a break, silly. That's what we were doing in the first place. You lift your head. Ah, should I stop? She pulls your face back up to hers and captures your lips. Hell no. Your keys drop to the ground, forgotten, as you lose your hands in Juliet's silky hair. Her hands light up beneath your clothes, trailing over your bare skin. Are we going inside, or...? You <laughs> kiss a trail down her neck, and tugging her top down around her waist. I choose or. Juliet giggles, her eyes gleaming. She quickly helps you pull the rest of uh, her clothing all the way off. Oh, we're doing this on the front porch, are we? Okay, well, you know. Rootin' tootin' cowboy. Doesn't seem fair for me to be all exposed while you are still fully dressed. Juliet slips her hands underneath your clothing, you shivers, her teasing touch along your bare skin. We can fix that. Maybe you make quick work of your clothing, throwing them haphazardly aside in your passionate haste. Is that what you wanted? Hell yeah. You loop an arm around her waist, pulling her close until your bodies are flush against each other. You know what I want. Julia shakes her hand. Tell me. I want you. Hmm, right here against the door on the porch swing. Ah, I don't know, how does a porch swing work? Someone will have to teach me one day, but my mind is now curious. Against that door. <laughs> Push Julia back against the door, pinning her against it so you can feel every inch of her bare body against yours. You lift her up and she wraps her legs around your waist. She moans as your bodies connect, her fingernails scratching down your back. John. Cool night air makes you shiver as you find a rhythm together. Feels... Good. Incredible. Kiss her neck as you move faster against her, the pleasure building up inside you until finally... Juliet. Later, you make it inside and... But um, shh, and up to your room, Julia lies in your arms. I love that I can go do crazy things with you. Greed, sign me up for more of that. Julia laughs, tracing the lines of your chest with a fingertip. Dumb. Julia smiles at you, her eyes bright with adoration. I'm so lucky that you're my boyfriend. I feel the same way. Well, if there's one thing tonight is proven. Is that we both are lucky. But um, sh she winks. <laughs> I can't with these puns. She winks and you shake your head at her silly joke, grinning. Ah, it was intended as one. We should celebrate with a kiss. Juliet arches her eyebrow, a cheeky gleam in her eye. Just a kiss? Ah, uh, to start. 
You pull her on top of you, kissing her deeply. She responds in a heartbeat, wrapping her legs around you. Much later, you and Juliet slip back into the town hall, hand in hand. Wow, the party hasn't slowed down at all. I don't think anyone even noticed we're gone. That's because of uh, plot hole. So, what'll it be? A drink or a dance? I think we should... Grandpa! Oh, no, 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 Cliff, Cliff. No, 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 no. Just tell me it's heartburn. Look over at the bar and see Cliff sagging forward, his hand pressed to his heart. Dad! Everyone give me some space! I'm calling an ambulance! Sawyer and Duke take Cliff under each arm, gently easing him to the floor because, uh, before he can fall off his chair, rush to his side. Cliff, oh god, Cliff. Cliff's eyes flutter open and meet yours. Take care of my boys. You can take care of them yourself. John, promise me. I promise. Or... I'm right here, Dad. I'm, I'm here. Always. Follow your dreams, son. You look at Sawyer. Tears spill freely down his cheeks. <clears throat> Dad? Grandpa? Duke, Brooklyn... I love you both so much. I... <laughs> Wilbur shuffles, shuffles closer, pushing a close leg with his nose. A close pause. You pressure trembling fingers to Cliff's neck. A single tear rolls down your cheek. He's gone. Someone switches off the music and the party falls silent as the town of Sweet Ridge stands vigil for Cliff Oakley. <laughs> Three months later... You walk along the edge of the ranch, hand in hand with Juliet. Oh, I need a moment. Hold on. Oh, shit like that really gets to me now. I'll explain at the end of the video. <sighs> I, ne I never really noticed how peaceful it is out here on this side of the fence. That's because it wasn't peaceful. What with the feud and everything. Fair point. I'm almost forgotten about all that. Juliet. How do you think the partnership between our ranches is going? Well, we flew right on uh, by with our trial period, didn't we? I'd say uh, I'm all ready to take it officially permanent. In fact, Percy and I have been talking about how uh, some new ideas that could benefit both ranches over the spring and summer. Look at you two working together. That's all thanks to you. How are Sawyer and Duke holding up without Cliff? They seem okay, but I know most men sooner stick themselves in the eye than fess up about their feelings. Which is true. They're looking out for each other. Cliff would be pleased. How are you doing? I'm, uh... I'm sad, but grateful too. Without Cliff, who knows what my life would be like if he uh, hadn't offered me a job on the ranch. You step away from Juliet, overcome with emotion. You rest your hands on the wooden fence as you look out across the pasture. He gave me all this. He gave me you. John. You turn around to find Juliet down on one knee. Oh. No offense, but, uh... A bit soon for me, don't you think? <sighs> I mean, I get it, it's three months later in the game, but damn. <clears throat> Juliet? John, you made me the happiest cowgirl on this side of the Mississippi. Every day with you is better than the last, no matter what the world throws at us. 
I honestly don't know what I'd do without you, and I'm not looking to find out. So I gotta ask, John, will you marry me? Close your eyes, and just like that, you can see your future spread out before you. Good morning, love. Morning. Still can't believe you booked the honeymoon suite for us. Nothing but the best for my honey. You lean in to kiss Juliet with a grin. Marriage has made you sappy. I know, but you love me anyway. Ain't that the truth? You help Aisha unpack the last of her boxes after her inauguration. So, Miss Mayor, what do you think of your new office? I think I could get used to this. You get out of the truck looking up at the big imposing buildings in front of you. You ready for this, Dallas? Dallas takes a deep breath. Law school, here I come. You and your friends are gathered in the Mendoza kitchen. Well, what do you think of our latest badge of bourbon? It's amazing. Seriously, Julian, you could absolutely sell this in stores across the country. I'll talk to some of my suppliers. Anna Marie puts her arm around Julian. I'm so proud of you, baby. Thanks, Mom. A watch of Sawyer shouts out instructions to the kids in his rodeo class. Remember, you can only hold on with one hand, Casey. But the cinnamon here is a sweet horse. You have nothing to worry about, see? Good girl. I'm doing it. Mr. Oakley, I'm doing it. Oh my god, I got into Parsons School of Design in New York City. What's that? Fashion school, Daddy. I got into fashion school. Eee! You lay a bouquet of wildflowers at the base of one of the tombstones. Hey, Cliff. I know it's been a while since the last time we talked, but, uh, <laughs> goodbye. Or, wow, Jesus. Oh, sorry. I'm, at, I'm having a moment, it's all coming back. But your boys are doing really well. You should see the two of them taking charge of the ranch. You'd be so proud. Wilbur, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere, and... Oh my god, did you just have piglets? Should the pig be a little bit bigger, though? She gonna lead you into your new bedroom with a coy smile. You know, I know that I think there are still a few surfaces in here we haven't consummated. Uh, still, I thought we were doing better than that. Congratulations, you two. I can't believe you're tying the knot. Why we wouldn't be if it weren't for you. Which is why I wanted to ask, John, will you be my best man? Hell yeah. Walk out on the porch of your newly built cabin. I still can't believe you convinced Percy to let us build here. What? It just made sense for us to live half on Oakley and half on ours. Juliet wraps her arms around you from behind, kissing your shoulders. The two of you look on out over the lake. And you have to admit, it's got a fantastic view. Open your eyes and smile, knowing exactly what you want to say. Hell yes. Throw your arms around her, pulling her into a kiss. Ray, are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything. I love you, Julia. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. We hope you enjoyed the adventures in Big Sky Country from the entire team. Thanks for playing Pixelberry. Um, that gets me. It really does get me. Mm. <clears throat> so, um, before I small start my small rant, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down the description below links to social media, Discord, and if you like support me and my content, and uh, be appreciated. Apparently, today my vacuum kind of quit, and I don't have a backup or anything. And with money problems, it's uh, one thing after another. Uh, so if you uh, 
want to, there's a GoFundMe link down below, as well as Patreon. Uh, you can hit the join button on YouTube. Be greatly appreciated because I'm uh, me and my family are really needing some help right now. It'd be greatly appreciated, which gets me on to my rant. Um. I know, well, if you're new here, you don't know, but for everyone else, um, knows about my medical issues. Just search the word emotion on my channel and you'll find the video. Um, long story short, uh, medical insurance will no longer assist me. Uh, it's going to cost $6,000 minimum to get the things that I need just to live comfortable um, and six thousand dollars out of pocket insurance refuses to cover it um, we feel like doing a separate video about this but that was pertinent to Cliff um, in a way he kind of went in a peaceful way and in a kind of way I wish I could go a peaceful way but unfortunately due to my medical ailments unfortunately the peaceful way I guess I will put up one last fight and it's gonna be a long fight but it's going to be a fight, which is battling with my body every day until it quits, or I quit. And uh, I don't want to leave my family in the situation that they're in right now, with no car, no real money, um, and everything. So, uh, again, please support the channel if you can. Um, you know, if just... I look at it this way, if each person on this channel that has hit subscribe would just donate a dollar, let alone two dollars, to make up for the amount that kind of has drifted away or no longer pays attention to this channel, it literally would make a difference for my brothers. I'm not even looking at me. I'm not even putting my medical issues and, and, and whatnot into the equation right now. Um, it would make a big difference. If you could please share the GoFundMe with your friends, your family, neighbors, strangers, please get it out there. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Um, please make a difference for them. Because that's all I ask. That's it. I'm not asking for anything from me. I'm asking to make a difference for them. So, please help me do that. It's... I know I'm not a successful YouTube creator. Um, I never will be. I've never been a success in my life. And while I've helped everybody that I can, um, at the end of the day, it's the depression, the anxiety, and everything else that tells me that I'm a failure. And I am. My brother's should not be in the situation that they're in right now, and they are. And so, I desperately need your help. That's all I can say. Because I don't want to be like Cliff and just drop dead, but at least Cliff left his family with something. If I drop right now, I leave them with nothing. So, please help. That's all I can say. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.